Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with Spring Cloud Config Server. One of our viewers has reached out with a question about a frustrating error message they received. They say, I am trying to set up Spring Cloud Config Server, which is running on port 8888 as expected. However, another service is supposed to run on port 18060, but instead, it starts on port 8080 and gives me a warning. Could not locate property source, label not found. What should I do? Let's dive into this problem and explore some potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To address the issue of the Spring Cloud Config Server not locating the property source, we first need to check the configuration settings of your application. Next, confirm that your config server is properly configured to point to the correct Git repository or file system location where your configuration files are stored. Now let's address the port allocation issue. If your service is starting on port 8080 instead of 1860, you need to explicitly set the server port in your application properties. Finally, if you still encounter the warning, could not locate property source label not found, ensure that the label you are using in your request matches one of the labels in your configuration repository. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue of not locating the property source in Spring Boot, you need to set the default branch for your GitHub URI in the config server. This is done by adding a specific line to your application properties. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A user encountered an issue with Spring Boot, where the logs showed a message about not locating a property source. This happened during server startup. The problem was linked to the health check for the config server, which used an empty environment causing the application name to be empty. As a result, the Spring Cloud client attempted to access the default application name, leading to the error. To resolve this, the user disabled the health check for the config server. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the property source label not found issue in Spring Boot, here's a solution. First, enable debug mode in your application by setting logging.level to debug in your properties file. This helps you identify the problem. Next, start your application and check the logs. Look for the configured server URI and the URL for property resources. Compare these two URLs. A 
common mistake is having an extra space at the end of the URL defined in your property file. This can happen when copying and pasting. For example, ensure there's no space after spring.cloud.config.uri. If you see a log entry like localhost slash 20 cent slash followed by your app name and profile, that's a sign of the issue. Simply remove the trailing space and your application should work. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To resolve the issue of not locating the property source in Spring Boot, you need to update your bootstrap.yml file. Make sure to enable the config and specify the URI for your server. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To resolve the issue of Spring Boot not locating the property source, ensure that your configuration is set correctly. Enable the Spring Cloud config and specify the URI for your config server. Make sure to replace the URI with the correct port for your cloud config server and set the label to match your Git repository branch name. Here's a quick code snippet to illustrate the configuration in your application properties. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe, I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.